right, good morning, guys. It's about 5.30 in the morning, waiting for my Uber to get me to the airport so we can start this Yellowstone adventure. So I guess I'll check back in with you guys at the airport. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, made it into the airport, Terminal 1 Southwest. Hey, shout out to all the TSA guys dealing with all the craziness up front there, absolute madness. And shout out to my Uber driver, too. Ooh, glasses are fogging up with my mask on. But yeah, shortage of Uber drivers, but I'm thankful I got one. So um, I guess I'll check in with you guys when I land in Sacktown. Uh, just landed in Sacramento. Let me show you the biggest dog I've ever seen in my entire life. Big dog. Yeah. Like a polar dog. All right, guys, there she is. That's the Project M by Four Wheel Campers. And after driving it for just two hours from Sacramento to Reno, I got some good things to say about it. First of all, just check that out. That is just simply beautiful. All right, guys, finished resupplying at Walmart here in Reno. So my two three gallon water tanks are full and my shower bag, that's another three gallons. So I have enough water, got some supplies, but onto the stuff that I love about this Project M rig already, even after just driving it for two hours. This is the most nimble, quiet vehicle I've ever driven that's this size. When I compared it to other vehicles that I saw out there, like uh, I saw some Class A's struggling to go uphill. I saw some trailers, uh, fifth wheels kind of pull over on the side of the road. This is so much more nimble. It's like, you can't even hear anything. It's so quiet, it's so agile. I might be rethinking uh, you know, getting the uh, either the slide-in or the flatbed version versus the Project M because you can customize it to how you want it and it's lighter in weight and it's easier on your vehicle suspension. Um, and it's a good feeling being out here in this truck. You know, you see other people with uh, campers and they wave and you wave back. It's almost like you're riding a motorcycle for those that ride motorcycles where right? you guys wave to each other. But I uh, got a four-hour drive, going to end up in Elko, going to stay there overnight. Maybe I'll check back in to show you what I'm making for dinner. All right, let's get back on the road. All right, guys, it's just about 9 o'clock, and I'm in Carlin Canyon. I'm right on the side of this little river right here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can shoot some video. It's kind of dark outside, but it should be pretty interesting in the morning. Um, I'm going to go in the back and pop up the top. All right, guys, here is a look at the rear of the camper. There's my stove. Got some propane. Probably just going to make some quick ramen real quick. Uh, so that's the refrigerator battery box. The bed is up there. I got my uh, three gallon water canisters up there. And there's my shower. Uh, we'll get a closer look tomorrow when there's more light so I can show you the bedding and how to pop up everything. But I'm hungry. Got to get rid of these bugs. I totally forgot I got these guys. So I'm just gonna grind on this mountain house beef stroganoff for now. Maybe I'll make some breakfast in the morning or whatever. Water's boiling. Whew. All right, good morning, guys. Uh, got a good night's sleep. Knocked out after a long day of driving from Sacramento to Reno. And um, you know, one of the great things about arriving to a campsite late at night is sometimes you wake up and the views are just gorgeous. Let's have a look. <laughs> Check that out. Little creek down there. Get a panning shot for you guys here. Oh yeah, there's a better look at the camper with the top popped up. The stars were absolutely amazing last night. Clear shot of the Milky Way. All right, so here's some closing thoughts on the first day in the Project M. First of all, the drive from Sacramento to Reno is tremendous. The mountain views, the trees, the lakes, the rivers, the trains, the, the colors I seen in the sky at sunset were, were absolutely tremendous. Uh, the rig performed absolutely amazing. It's nimble, it's quiet. I can't hear any creaking 
when I noticed how fast I was moving compared to some of the other fifth wheels or trailers or RVs, maybe their class A, Bs, or Cs, a lot more agile. So very impressed with the performance of the Project M. Now, some learning moments from last night. I haven't been camping in a long time. The LED lights on the back of the Project M are fantastic. They light up around 180 degrees in the back half of the truck. Uh, of course, I turned them on. Bugs started coming on. That's not the big deal. The problem was I left the light on in the camper and um, I left the camper open and all the bugs went in. So it took a while for me to lure them back out and some of them stayed in overnight. So learning lesson, keep the lights off in the cabin, keep them on outside so they stay outside. But pretty much I think it was a successful day one. I'm going to be trying to get into the Grand Tetons by today. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.